Hey everyone, Dan from On1 here. I wanted to show you something cool that we're working on for the next version of Effects inside of On1 Photo 10 coming this fall. What we've done is we've taken the separate black and white module and we've integrated it inside of Perfect Effects. There's a couple reasons for doing this. First is it gives you complete control over the conversion process and it gives you the ability to add more stuff, more of the filters from Effects to your black and white conversion. For example, a lot of people always wanted to add dynamic contrast. Now you'll be able to use dynamic contrast as part of your black and white workflow. First, let me uh, make sure you guys aren't uh, afraid of these changes. In the preset category, there's going to be a black and white preset category. And when I click on that, I'll have all of the same black and white presets that I had inside of Perfect Black and White. I'm just going to use the Quick View Browser button up here, and you can actually see all of those presets. Now, we're going to give you a great selection of the best of them when you install effects and you'll be able to download the rest, over a hundred different black and white conversions that you can put into Perfect Effects so you can have every single black and white preset that we've ever made right there inside of effects. I'm just going to pick a very basic black and white conversion to start with. So this will add my black and white filter. And here inside of the black and white filter, you notice I have the same options that I have inside of the black and white conversion in perfect black and white. The same color response tools, the same option to hit auto and have it build its own mix. There's even the targeted brightness tool, which I can use to lighten or darken certain color areas in the image. Let's say I want to make my sky darker. I just select that tool, click in the sky, and I can drag to the left to darken up just that sky to pick those blue colors and darken them. That's a little too strong. Let's go kind of somewhere in between there. There we go. Maybe we want to brighten up the yellows a little bit. There we go. There's the same tone options for adjusting the brightness and contrast and revealing the shadows and highlights. This has the new improved shadow and highlight algorithms that we built for Photo 10. So I can bring back additional information from my shadows. I can still add all the same toner options that I had inside of Perfect Black and White, as well as fine tune those. And I can also add all of the same film grain that I had in the past as well. Let's say I want to add a Tmax 100 film grain to this, and maybe we'll add just a subtle selenium toner to it. Cool. That looks great. Now here's the cool part. I can add more things to it that I couldn't do before. I can go up to Add Filter, and I can use any of the other filters inside of Effects. Let's say I like Dynamic Contrast, and I want to use that. I can just add Dynamic Contrast, and now I can adjust that as part of my black and white workflow. That's how you can create great looking black and white photos inside of effects in the new On1 Photo 10. Thanks for watching.